good morning and welcome to St. Mother Theodore Guerin Parish. As we enter the second Sunday of Advent, let us take a moment and calm our hearts and minds as we prepare for the coming of Jesus. Our gathering song will be Alleluia, Hurry, the Lord is Near, found in your Guerin Songbook, number 901. Again, that's Alleluia, Hurry, the Lord is Near, in your Guerin Songbook, number 901. Please stand. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. In today's readings, we shall hear about the mission of John the Baptist, who was sent to prepare the way for the coming of Jesus, the light of the world. We too are sent to prepare the way. As we light the second candle on the Advent wreath, let us pray that we may be worthy of our mission to spread the light of Christ in the world so that all may acknowledge Jesus as Lord. And now we invite the Keene family to come forward to light the second candle. The last one. coming was foretold by prophets. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You judge us in fairness. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are the one whom John proclaimed. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Virgin. Let us pray. Heavenly wisdom, 
A reading from the book of the prophet Baruch. Jerusalem, take off your robe of mourning and misery. Put on the splendor of glory from God forever. Wrapped in the cloak of justice from God, bear on your head the mitre that displays the glory of the eternal name. For God will show all the earth your splendor. You will be named by God forever, the peace of justice, the glory of God's worship. Up, Jerusalem, stand upon the heights. Look to the east and see your children gathered from the east and the west at the word of the Holy One, rejoicing that they are remembered by God. Led away on foot by their enemies, they left you. But God will bring them back to you, borne aloft in glory as on royal thrones. For God has commanded that every lofty mountain be made low, and that the age-old depths and gorges be filled to level ground, that Israel may advance secure in the glory of God. The forests and every fragrant kind of tree have overshadowed Israel at God's command, for God is leading Israel in joy by the light of his glory, with his mercy and justice for company the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response this morning is the Lord has done great things for us. We are filled with joy. We are filled with joy. for us. We are filled with joy. We are filled with joy. The Lord has done great things for us. We are filled with joy. We are filled with joy. When the Lord brought back the exiles of Zion, we thought we were dreaming. Then was our mind A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Brothers and sisters, I pray always with joy in every prayer for all of you because of your partnership for the gospel from the first day until now. I am confident of this, that the one who began a good work in you will continue to complete it until the day of Christ Jesus. God is my witness. How I long for all of you with the affections of Christ Jesus. 
And this is my prayer, that your love may increase ever more and more in knowledge and every kind of perception, to discern what is of value, so that you may be pure and blameless, blameless for the day of Christ, filled with the fruit of righteousness that comes through Jesus Christ, for the glory and praise of God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. In the 15th year of the reign of Tiberius Caesar, when Pontius Pilate was governor of Judea and Herod was tetrarch of Galilee, and his brother Philip, tetrarch of the region of Ituria and Trachonitis, and Lycia. Lysianus was tetrarch of Abilene. During the high priesthood of Annas and Caiaphas, the word of God came to John, the son of Zechariah, in the desert. John went throughout the whole region of the Jordan, proclaiming a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins, as it is written in the book of the words of the prophet Isaiah. A voice of one crying out in the desert, Prepare the way of the Lord, make straight his paths. Every valley shall be filled, and every mountain and hill shall be made low. The winding roads shall be made straight, and the rough ways made smooth, and all flesh shall see the salvation of God. Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Growing up here on the southwest side of Chicago and being anxious to get from point A to point B, most Chicagoans have all experienced something that I think is probably not only unique to Chicago, but to every driver that wants to get from point A to point B as quickly as possible. Of course, I'm talking about the many, many potholes that exist in Chicago's streets. Now, when you are excited to get your driver's license, you know that you want the smoothest ride. But here in Chicago, especially right after winter ends, the cracks become deeper. They become crevices and almost pitfalls. And certainly by the time that they are done, these large holes in the middle of the road make it very difficult for a father to go 60 miles an hour in a 35 mile per hour street because now the roads are dangerous, and now it is unsafe. But more than that, we all experience perhaps that moment when we see a pothole ahead of us and we try to swerve around it. And if we aren't so lucky, we make that hard dip, and then we hear the loud crashing and complaining of our car that we have just so purposely misled into that deep hole. Today we are learning about St. John the Baptist saying, make straight the pathways of the Lord. And so if we are to make straight the paths of the Lord, we are to make them better, heal them. We are supposed to fix what is unfixable at this moment by placing it before God. For the city, they fill the potholes and make them a smoother ride. 
so that all those who drive can have perhaps a more comfortable drive to where they are going. And yet, for us in our spiritual life, there is something to be said about fixing the road in which we walk with Christ. Today we have the pleasure of having our children choir and also the scouts. And as I look out into the see the families, I see that the scouts are always looking very sharp. They have everything looking so perfect in their uniforms. They have their badges, they have everything about them that speaks about what they are learning, what they are striving to be an example for, for others. But it cannot just be the uniform that looks great. Their lives are also ordered to discipline. And it is in this discipline that we now seek to make Christ a part of our life. For I can tell you that because now I have a puppy, my dog, Penny, takes out everything from my house. She takes my shoes, she plays with her toys, and makes a big mess every single day. And now everywhere I walk, I have to be careful not to step on something. Otherwise, I might trip in the middle of the night going to get a glass of water. Every day, I have to make sure I put her toys away so that I don't have an accident. And it is, it is with you at home, when you have your rooms, the things that you are responsible for, you have to make sure that you are clean, that you put your toys away, that you order your desks where you do your homework, that your bed is well made. These things that you take from scouts about discipline, about order, you apply them to your life at home. You make sure that you are proud of the things that you have that you are responsible for. But now the, we now ask the Lord to be a part of this discipline and care. Because when, we are, when our life is a mess, when there are things that we have not taken care of, those things that we call bad habits or sin, temptations, they get in our way when we are walking with Christ and we start to trip and fall. And those are the things that John the Baptist is inviting us to look at. He says, make straight the paths of the Lord, prepare His coming, so that as you walk to meet Him, you may not trip and fall, that you can have that experience with Christ to be full of the love that He has for us. We are awaiting the coming of Jesus in, the, 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 in Advent, and each week we light a new candle because we are preparing ourselves. Christmas is not tomorrow. We are awaiting the coming of God. But it is this good news that challenges us to look into ourselves and say, what have I not cleaned up in my life? What is it that I should work on being better? I know I'm not perfect. I know I make mistakes. I know there are moments when I really try very hard to do my best. But it is in that moment that we say to the Lord, Lord, receive my offer to you today, my very best. Today, I try to be nicer to people. Today, I try to help those that I saw that were in need. Today, I shared with my little brother or sister. Today, I tried. That is how we make straight the path for the Lord. That is how we clean up the mess that we have in our lives. That is how we become more loving of the mission God has given us. So it, just as we have a motto for the Scouts, would someone like to say the motto? Do you have the motto or slogan of the Scouts? Would someone like to come and say it? Would a scout leader like to come up and say it? Oh, they volunteered someone. Very good. <laughs> okay. Well, just as the scouts have a motto, the church calls for us to also follow, to love God, to love one another. And to do this is how we encounter God's love 
for his people. So as we await the coming of Christmas, let us ask the Lord, help me fill in those holes. Help me clean the things that are all around me that make it difficult for me to walk with Christ so that I can be that better son, that better daughter, that I can try my best each and every day. And in this way, we await the coming of the Chosen One, the Anointed One, the Messiah, so that this Christmas may be one that will fill us with the joy of the Gospel, the salvation of us, we who are imperfect, but yet so loved by God. And now let us stand and profess our faith as we say, I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life. It proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead, life of the world to come. Amen. Amen. We gather all of our prayers and petitions before our Heavenly Father, and we ask Him to fill us with the joy of the Gospel message, the coming of our Lord, the coming of the Messiah. May we who desire to pl place ourselves before the Lord receive the graces necessary to overcome the temptations of sin. May the Church be a sign of God's faithfulness, love, and joy in the midst of despair and hopelessness. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. May our bishops and pastoral leaders serve God's people with humility, compassion, and joy. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. May our hearts grow in stillness that we might reflect on God's messages of joy and hope as we await the coming of the Messiah. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. May all who suffer and carry heavy burdens be sustained and filled with joy by this season's messages of hope and justice. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those being baptized into our faith community, Michael, Javier, Vil Vilkis, and Matthew, Joseph, Fliss, we pray to the Lord. Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick, especially those listed in our parish bulletin, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. May all who now sleep in the peace of Christ know the joy promised to them, especially Thomas Miller. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the attentions for which this Mass is offered, Mary T. Angelico, Mary Ann Pankevich, in thanksgiving for graces received through St. Joseph, Anna and Rom Roman Romaniak, Jeannie and John Mirabali, Mary Godowski, Anniversary, Frank Pudlow, Deacon Dennis Colgan, Richard Ritter, Abita and Aldrin Villaluz, Frank and Carol Sala, Charles Stick, Juanita Pelgulian, 
Jose Tus, and Matthew and Maricel Salas, 13th wedding anniversary. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. For all the prayers that we hold in the silence of our hearts, for all our intentions spoken and unspoken, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we ask always for the spirit of truth to live in us as we humbly desire to serve one another, to honor your will in our lives, and to receive, Lord, the graces necessary to persevere on our journey of faith as we make straight the paths of the Lord in our lives. We ask everything in his name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Lord, accept this sacrifice at your hands, the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Be pleased, O Lord, with our humble prayers and offerings, and since we have no merits to plead our cause, come, we pray, to our rescue with the protection of your mercy. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, 
Almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for he assumed at his first coming the lowliness of human flesh, and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago, and opened for us the way to eternal salvation, that when he comes again in glory and majesty, and all is at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hold. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, and Blaise Suvich our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, 
we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always be free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Kingdom, power, and glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our... Look not on our our sins, but in the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who will live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And now let us share some sign of peace with one another. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
For those that are participating with our Mass via live stream or those who cannot sacramentally receive communion at this time, I ask that you close your eyes and bow your heads as I read the act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Replenished by the food of spiritual nourishment, we humbly beseech you, O Lord, that through our partaking in this mystery, you may teach us to judge wisely the things of earth and hold firm to the things of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our announcements. Giving tree envelopes are available in the back of the churches. Considering taking one and donating a gift card or two to help someone have a nice Christmas. Our Lady of Fantima Devotion will be after the 8 a.m. Mass on Tuesday, December 7th at St. Cyprian's. Wednesday is Immaculate Conception, a holy day of obligation. Join us for 8 a.m. Mass at St. Celestine or 7 p.m. Mass at St. Cyprian. A nine-day novena of Our Lady of Guadalupe continues in the chapel at St. Celestine at 7 p.m. each night until December 11th, followed by Our Lady of Guadalupe Mass in the church. Obaki is available at the churches and pastoral center for a donation of $2. Please see the bulletin for all of our upcoming Advent and Christmas events. And finally, we are excited to spread some Christmas cheer at our community trim tree today but due to the inclement weather, the event has been modified. Following the mass, we ask the participants to walk through the school gym to the trees. Along our path through the gym, participants will be given items to make it home and a sweet treat to take with them. Upon exiting the gym, all guests are invited to hang their ornaments on various Christmas trees before heading home. A special thanks to all of our St. Celestine community. Thank you to the, Celt the Celtic Athletics for the Holiday Heroes cards, Girl Scouts for making the tree ornaments, Parents Club for sponsoring our treats, Boy and Cub Scouts for sponsoring our hot chocolate and coffee. We ask that you are patient as you enter the gym since we want to try to social distance. Thank you, and also, we also have available what is called and referred to as the Little Blue Book, these Little bo Blue books for saying that 10 times fast little blue book little blue book these little blue books are little prayer reflections about the, the gospel and the day during the time of advent and christmas and if you would like one they are available in the pastoral center and at the back of church for a donation of two dollars a wonderful resource to spend a little day in prayer maybe like three five minutes each day contemplating the coming of our savior this christmas and finally we would also like to announce that um, as we desire to continue to be a life uh, in the church for those who are uh, perhaps still growing and still very young, we would like to extend our invitation for our next week um, to have our teen mass, our teen mass that is for all of our kids, all of our young people that are with our families and loved ones. We would like to invite them to have an open gym session after our mass is concluded at the 11 o'clock mass. And we will have uh, a couple of, of items uh, for the kids, like food and other uh, little treats here and there throughout each month. So we would like to establish our teen ministry with our teen mass. And for that, we'd like to just invite you to join us next week after the 11 o'clock mass to have that time together afterwards in the gym. And then to spread the love of, of Christmas as we approach that moment of great joy. So uh, join us next week after the 11 o'clock mass. And also every, every month we will be hosting 18 mass where we invite the children to be the lectors, when we invite them to be the ushers, to be the, if they are confirmed, our communion ministers, to be a part of our choir, to be a part of our community. This is their church. This is where we find life in Christ. So we encourage you to join us next week as we will be looking for volunteers and we will be asking parents to help us in this great movement of making our church a church for our children and our teens where they find the joy of Christ. So thank you so much for your support today. It's wonderful to see everyone as we approach Christmas. Thank you so much for the scouts joining us today and their families, our choirs, and to all the wonderful voices that make our liturgy so beautiful. Thank you. So. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down to receive God's blessing.
May the Almighty and merciful God, by whose grace you have pleased, place your faith in the first coming of His only begotten Son, and yearn for His coming again, sanctify you by the radiance of Christ's advent, and enrich you with His blessing. Amen. As you run the race of this present life, may He make you firm in faith, joyful in hope, and active in charity. Amen. So that rejoicing now with devotion at the Redeemer's coming in the flesh, you may be endowed with the rich reward of eternal life when He comes again in majesty. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. The Mass is ended. Now let us go to love and serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to, to God. God. Please join us in our closing hymn, which can be found in your gather book, number 198, Sing Out Earth and Skies. Again, in your gather book, number 198. Come, O God of all the earth, come to us, O righteous one. Come and bring our love to birth in the glory of your Son. Sing out earth and skies, sing of the God who loves you. Raise your joyful cries, dance to the life around you. Come, O oh God of wind and flame, fill the earth with righteousness. Teach us all to sing your name. May your lives your love confess. Sing out earth and skies. Sing of the God who loves you. Raise your joyful cries. Dance to the life around you. Come, O oh God of flashing light, twinkling star and burning sun. God of day and God of night.